Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. I'm just, uh, it's going to be an unboxing post bag, but uh, unfortunately, I've already made this video once, but I forgot to turn record on on my camera. So it's a shorter version, luckily for you, because everything's already open. So, my first uh, product, my first thing, is a set of cable ties, and it's one, two, three, four, five different size cable ties, and I believe it's a Nundred of each. So it's either, maybe it's five, I think it's about, it's supposed to be 500 anyway. It looks like enough, put it that way. Let's see how many it does say. Yes, 500 pieces, four, six, eight, 10 and 12 inches. Mm -mm. There you go, ladies, I've got all the inches. I ordered this because it was a sort of Amazon Prime thing. I'm going a bit nuts on Amazon at the moment. And uh, don't get Prime, it's too dangerous. You just do that one click and you start ordering everything because they do these things as add-ons. So it's like, well, if you spend 20 quid, you can add an extra like few quid and you can get this. But to me, I, I don't mind because this is the sort of thing I always use up and I always need lots of. So that's great. That's going to go on the shelf of stuff. Now, the next item is a bit weird. Whether or not you'll recognise what these are, I do not know. Now, there's 10 of them, these 10 monolithic objects, and they're all a bit grubby, but they should be OK. What they are is for engraving. These are the blanks you get when you get a trophy. You know, you get like a sort of bowling trophy in something and it says, well done, well done, on your bowling achievement. And this is how they come. I bought 10 for, I think, it was a couple of quid. So it's probably quite expensive for a bit of shiny aluminium, but they do seem to have these sort of two-tone things where it's sort of gold and then it's got this sort of silver dimpled edge, silver dimpled edge, and it does catch the light and it's quite nice. It's got this sort of plastic covering at the moment, which I'm not taking off. It's super shiny, like a mirror underneath. And on the back, it's got a bit of sticky sticky. So I think that's going to be quite nice. I'm going to try that in my sort of milling engraving machine. And we decided that the milling engraving machine is one of the various T8 clones. So that'd be quite mm, good because you remember I've done my back of my phone. Look at that gorgeous. I can't get over how good that came out of as a sort of first attempt. Mm. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to move on to uh, these sort of metal blanks, get those out of the way. And uh, not too dissimilar is this. Now this is uh, an odd, you'll think it's odd, but it's a multicolour collection of polymer clays. I think it was eight pounds or so from Amazon. And I can see looking at an angle, some of these are double height. Um, not all of them, but you seem to only get one black and white and then you get maybe a different set of colours. There's a whole load of colours anyway in there. You get a set of knives, and that's sort of like putty knives to do stuff with it. Apparently you can cure it in an oven, believe it or not, for 20 to 40 minutes, or, or boil it for 15 to 20 minutes. Boil it! I've never even heard of that. And that sets the uh, polymer up. And that's a really nice thing. If you've ever used Fimo or Sculpey, it's that kind of thing. And the reason I'm getting it is related to engraving and milling, because I want to try to use this as a material to make some uh, ink stamps, or just as really as a general purpose material. Now, I don't know if I can use it to make stamps directly. It, they, sometimes they are a little bit soft and pliable, which is just be perfect for that. Or what I'll use is a uh, use it to sort of form a base for a silicone mould, and then I'll make the um, stamp out of the silicone. So there could be a complicated process there. So again, look, I added this was another Amazon add-on for a quid or something. I added that to the order. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be interesting. And the plus side is, if it doesn't work, I can just give it to the kids and let them make their sort of you know. Power Rangers or Sonic the Hedgehogs or whatever the hell they're into now, Ben 10, there's some green there, and boil it up and we'll make some toys. That's going to be fun. And then the last uh, item, which is uh, slightly odd, I've thrown away the packet, but there you go, it's a Rolson product. And some of you probably steer clear of Rolson products, or you just buy them to fill your tool bag, um, awaiting the moment where they sort of knacker out and then you'll replace it with something better. But it's a, it's a drill, basically. That's no other way to describe this. This is a drill for small um, objects. And uh, while we're in this video, should we have a little play? You'll have a little play. Um, if you've got these sort of drill bits, which are 0.3 to 0.1 mil, so they're kind of tiny, to be honest with you. If I get out a 0.3 bit, again, these were kind of Rolson-y type cheapo. Oh, that one's jammed. 
try another one. What is... Ah, oh, there we go. I can see about four drill bits in one hole there in the point um, four. But, yeah. That is what they look like. So I'm going to hold those the two things up together. Yeah. So you can imagine using that with a normal drill. It's not going to happen, is it? So that's what this is for. So it's a, basically a chuck. So I'm going to just open that chuck, trying not to lose my drill bit. And there we go, we can pop that in. Come on. It's not sitting quite centre at the moment. That looks about right. It is right. It's goodly and goodly and right. So there's a piece of wood. And I think you just... Ah. <laughs> I think you just instantly snap your drill bit. Oh my gosh. And it didn't just snap in half. It snapped into a million pieces. Um, should we try that again? I think we shall. That was embarrassing. That was really embarrassing. Hmm. I, uh, that's the sort of thing that would get you fired from your job as a watchmaker. That is... Oh, this one's even thinner, look. I can't believe how thin this one is. Can you even see it? There you go. Um, I don't know why I'm trying with this, frankly, uh, but I'm going to. So you usually use these in small drill presses. Um, Imagine a Dremel with a little drill press, a little like bench drill, but with a Dremel inside. I mean, that's that's what they're like. Right, I'm gonna push this real, real far, real in. So that's it now. It's absolutely tiny. Um, so yeah, don't push too hard, I guess. I'm focused now, concentrating. That did work, and it did make a hole. Yeah, super zoom. Can you see the hole? It's right there. So if you need to sort of make a new uh, injector for your, your diesel engine or something, you can make the, your own hose. And that's why I got that, and it was sort of like a couple of quid thrown it into the order. So I hope that's been of some use to you, and it's hopefully some use to you sort of letting you know what's coming up in the next uh, you know, future episodes, in the not too distant future, hopefully. Um, should be interesting. I'm going to do some experiments, some live uh, videos, perhaps on Patreon, and see how my polymer clay experiment fans out. And um, if it fans out well, we'll be hitting, hitting some back office stamps on things. As ever, guys, have a wonderful uh, evening, morning, noon, wherever you are. Take care and thank you for watching.